47 and a copperhead bit a man last week in Cherokee County. He told Cherokee County emergency responders that he tried to pick up the snake from the back of the landscaping truck and then that's when it bit him. Now he's okay, but this all could have been prevented. I went to the Charlie Elliott Wildlife Center in Mansfield to find out about the snakes that call Georgia home and to clear up some misunderstandings about the reptiles. It's your worst fear when you're out walking this time of year coming across a poisonous snake and it bites you. I mean, Don't worry about this one. This is a northern pine snake, also known as a bull snake. It's non-venomous and only harmful to rodents. But that doesn't stop John Jensen's phone from ringing. He's a senior wildlife biologist with the Georgia Department of Natural Resources. So I get lots of calls from concerned uh, homeowners about snakes, and the two most common snakes in the Atlanta area that I get reports about are this one, the black rat snake, which is a really good climber, so it gets into places other snakes can't, um, and then a snake called the brown snake, which as a full-grown adult is only about this big. People find them, they think it's a baby, and they think there must be big mom and dad around, but that's all it is. It's totally harmless. They eat slugs and snails, so great for gardeners. Jensen says there are 46 species of snakes in Georgia. Only six are venomous. And the only one you're likely to encounter in Metro Atlanta is the copperhead. So copperheads are, are what are known as ambush predators. They will sit in a tight coil and just wait for something to come by them. They'll be really uh, camouflaged and hope something comes by them, whereas snakes like these are active hunters and they're going out searching for stuff. So a copperhead is often on the scent trail of a rodent and uh, such as like a chipmunk that may climb a tree. So they may be coiled just like right there against the tree or against a log. So if you're ever like w stepping across a log, that's a a good place to look where your next step is. If you see a copperhead, leave it alone. A lot of people that get bit get bit because they try to move it or catch it or kill it. If you do get bitten, don't try to treat it yourself. So there used to be lots of uh, suggested first aid, first aid for venomous snakes, uh, putting on a tourniquet and uh, cutting and sucking the blood out. All of these have been proven to be more damaging than beneficial. So the f best thing to do if you get bit by a copperhead is get somebody to just drive you to the emergency uh, clinic and, uh, and let the doctors take it from there. Now, even copperheads have their predators. So this is a eastern king snake, and for folks who don't like snakes, this is about the only snake they can tolerate um, because king snakes are immune to the venom of our pit vipers, and they will eat uh, copperheads, rattlesnakes, things like that. So folks tend to like to have king snakes around and can tolerate them. Even if you don't want to tolerate them, don't kill them. That's illegal in the state of Georgia. It's also illegal to keep native snakes as pets without the proper permits. Well, outside of Metro Atlanta, you'll find rattlesnakes, coral snakes, and the cottonmouth, also known as a water moccasin. All those, of course, are venomous. Now, I know what you're thinking. Can I look you don't up care, now? That's right? right. <laughs> yes, Can I just look right. Up now? But <laughs> and, and that's the reason why I went out there to get some information because most of the snakes here in North Georgia, especially in the metro area, are, are those snakes that are non venomous and you actually need to eat rodents and that kind of thing. But you do have to be careful. It's that time of the year where you're hiking, mm -hmm. you're, yes. uh, you're out in your yard mm -hmm. uh, doing yard work. So make sure that if you do see a snake, even if you think it's not venomous, don't try to pick it up and don't treat it yourself if you get bit, bitten. So be careful out it's that time of the season. Thank yeah. you, it's, Ron it's scary. Thank Lori you and I were that. like at a distance. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, that's, that is good information. Yes. So thank All you right. for that.